Alkaline phosphatase is a naturally occurring enzyme in milk that is destroyed by conventional pasteurization. HTST, or high temperature short time, usually represents a pasteurization time of 15 seconds and a temperature of 161 degrees Fahrenheit, or 72 degrees Celsius. This makes alkaline phosphatase an excellent marker to verify the destruction of pathogenic microorganisms in most pasteurized dairy products. CHARM's FAP test is the fastest available phosphatase method to verify completeness of pasteurization. The CHARM FAP test is an official, validated method recognized by the FDA and the National Committee of Interstate Milk Shippers. Our simple one-step procedure requires no reagent preparation and delivers results in just 45 seconds. Levels of 350 milliunits of alkaline phosphatase per liter or higher exceed the public health guidelines for pasteurized dairy products. CHARM's FAP fast alkaline phosphatase test can detect as low as 20 milliunits per liter, providing an excellent early warning indicator of improper pasteurization. Hello, I'm Steve Holmes from CHARM Sciences. I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to the CHARM FAP fast alkaline phosphatase test using the CHARM Novalume. This training video will provide you with the steps needed to perform the test accurately. To perform CHARM's FAP test, you will need a Vortex mixer, a 100 microliter fixed volume pipette and 100 microliter pipette tips, an FAP test kit, which includes the positive controls, a Novalume with stand, an FAP temperature probe, a micro centrifuge tube stand, and a hot plate with stir, which is needed for lab pasteurization of milk. The FAP temperature probe connects fully into the side socket on the Novalume. Align the red dots as shown and press in to connect. The probe measures the ambient room temperature to make sure it is between the recommended 18 to 24 degrees Celsius needed to run the FAP test. These instructions will demonstrate proper use of a 100 microliter fixed volume two-stop pipette. Push the appropriate 100 microliter pipette tip onto your pipette. Press the plunger down to the first stop as shown. Insert the pipette tip into the milk sample and slowly release the plunger to the original starting position. Check to make sure there are no air bubbles in the pipette tip. To expel the milk, depress the plunger slowly and completely down to the second stop to dispense the entire sample. Eject the pipette tip after use. It's important to always use a new, clean pipette tip for pipetting samples. To prepare a negative control, you can use a whole homogenized milk sample pasteurized within the prior 48 hours, or you can pasteurize your own sample as we will now demonstrate. Heat at least 20 milliliters to 95 degrees Celsius, plus or minus one degree. And hold for one minute while stirring. Never use a microwave oven to heat the sample. Cool rapidly and keep the sample refrigerated. To prepare a positive control, add one calibrator tablet to a test tube or the supplied mixing vial. Peel foil backing to expose tablet. Add 100 microliters of water. and mix the tube to break up the tablet.
Add 2.5 milliliters of negative control to make a 350 milliunit per liter calibrator. And always remember to mix vigorously before each use. The positive control must now sit for at least 10 minutes to be fully reconstituted. FAP reagent vials need to be at room temperature prior to running tests. To calibrate the instrument, select Calibration menu option number 8 from the Novalume main menu. In the calibration menu, select option number three, FAP. In the channel menu, select your appropriate FAP channel. In this case, we're choosing channel four, FAP milk. This screen prompt will appear. Test one negative and one 350 calibrator. Press okay when ready. You will test the negative calibrator first. Push the appropriate 100 microliter pipette tip onto your pipette. Pierce the foil with a new clean pipette tip. Prime and draw 100 microliters of negative control into the pipette tip. Inject milk into the FAP vial and immediately press OK on the Novalume. The Novalume screen will prompt you to now use the Vortex mixer. Thoroughly mix your sample with the Vortex mixer for a full 5 seconds. You will have 30 seconds to complete the mixing, attach the adapter to the vial, and insert it into the Novalum before the next screen prompt will appear. The negative calibrator value is used by the Novalum to adjust the channel calibration. Results will be displayed on the screen. Here a result of 1124 RLU is displayed. Press OK and the Novalum will prompt you to test a 350 calibrator. Your FAP vial adapter is reusable for multiple tests. To test the positive control, once again pierce the foil with a new clean pipette tip. Prime and draw 100 microliters of 350 milliunit per liter calibrator into the tip. Inject this sample into the FAP vial and immediately press OK on the Novalum. The Novalum screen will once again prompt you to use the Vortex mixer. Mix thoroughly with the Vortex mixer for 5 seconds. This screen prompt will appear. Attach the adapter and insert it into the Novalum. Here, a value of 6,274 RLU is displayed for the initial calibration of the positive calibrator. Press OK and the Novalume will calculate the calibration settings and prompt you to retest the negative and 350 calibrator. To repeat the test of the negative calibrator, pipette into an FAP vial and immediately press OK on the Novalume. Mix again with the Vortex mixer for 5 seconds, attach adapter, and insert it into the Novalume. In our demonstration, a result of 0 milliunits per liter is now shown for the negative calibrator. Press OK and the Novalume will now prompt you to retest the 350 calibrator. Pipette into the FAP vial. Press OK. Mix with the Vortex mixer. Attach the adapter and insert it into the Novalume, just as in previous steps. Here we receive a result of 395 milliunits per liter for the positive calibrator. Press OK. If our negative control tests less than 15 milliunits per liter, and our positive control tests between 320 to 400 milliunits per liter, the Novalume is correctly calibrated and the screen will read calibration successful. 
A negative and positive calibration should be run daily prior to sample testing to verify that the FAP reagents and Novolume luminometer are working properly. From the mode of operation screen, select Control Check, then follow the prompts to run a negative control and a positive 350 milliunit per liter calibrator. Please refer to your operator manual for more information. Now we'll demonstrate the steps needed to test an unknown milk sample. All milk samples when tested should be between 0 to 4.5 degrees Celsius prior to running the test. Using a new clean pipette tip, pierce the foil top of the FAP vial. Prime a pipette tip with your sample and draw 100 microliters. Inject the sample into an FAP vial. Select Run Test from the Mode of Operation screen and press OK. The Novolume screen will prompt you to use the Vortex mixer. Thoroughly mix your sample on the Vortex mixer for a full 5 seconds. Attach the adapter to the FAP vial and insert it into the Novolume. The Novolume will finish analyzing your sample and will display your result automatically. For the FAP milk test that we're running in this demonstration, any result less than 350 milliunits per liter will be defined by the Novolume as a passing result. Here, the milk sample shows a passing result of 61 milliunits per liter. Press OK to clear the test results screen and return to the run sample screen. Thank you for watching this Charm FAP fast alkaline phosphatase test for milk using the Charm Novolume training video. Charm Sciences strives to provide exceptional customer service and we hope you have found this video to be an informative and useful tool.